Good evening, everybody. We're coming to you from the swamp, Washington, D.C., and I can tell you we come here rarely. Lou Dobbs has a super fan. And you've been talking about the various people yeah. on your show, which I watch absolutely almost all the time. Even His super days. fan Gee, happens well, to be the device, president of the United States, States of America. But now your show is fantastic. So uh, he I'll watches his show, show regularly, listens to him, and seems to be taking at least some cues from him on policy. Tell me who your preference is. Uh, I think I may I constrain myself yes. because an but ad hoc advisor to the president. No, but I, I'd love to hear it. You can uh, even cut it out if you want. You don't have to. I would love to hear you. I only want Where to does the Donald Trump Lou Dobbs Janet relationship Yellen, begin? This is Lou Dobbs. We have to go back to when Lou Dobbs was talking about birtherism. President Obama promised transparency and openness in his administration. Uh, yet he's chosen not to release his original birth certificate or a copy of it. And Donald a Trump of Americans was are listening. Why not? When Donald Trump got interested in that topic, he was using some of the material that he was picking up from Lou Dobbs. I was a really good student at the best school. I'm not like a smart guy, okay? They make these birthers into the worst it is. Why doesn't he show his birth certificate? I, now I we can fast forward to the 2016 presidential campaign. Lou Dobbs is at Fox Business Network. Trump appears to be waking the country up on the issue. Who is up on the screen in Trump Force One? Lou Dobbs. Trump is listening to him during the campaign. People who we've spoken to have, who were on the plane talk about Trump saying, hold on a second, I want to hear what Lou is saying. The entire Border Patrol of this country is standing helpless at the border. No. On Lou Dobbs' program on a typical night, you may be hearing a lot about immigration. The majority of all those drugs crossing that border from Mexico to the United States. There are sex trafficking and smuggling of hundreds of thousands of illegal immigrants. Without borders, we have no country. When he is talking, particularly about the border, Donald Trump is listening. The way forward here is for him to declare a national emergency. Uh, Lou Dobbs very much aside, wanted uh, to have a national emergency declared to pay for building a wall. The president needs to find a way forward here where he can deliver on this promise. And he talked about it on his show a lot. Donald Trump eventually declared a national emergency. Secretary Kirsten Nielsen is flailing. Another key example is the situation involving the Homeland Security Secretary, Kirsten Nielsen. He was disappointed with how she was handling her job. She wasn't tough enough for him. Kirsten Nielsen, in my opinion, she is utterly unqualified for the job. He began calling for her to be fired. Within weeks of him doing that, she resigned from office. Kevin, good to have you with us, and it's congratulations. Uh, Something else that we've a, seen, a Donald Trump report. and Lou Dobbs are talking off air. They're having phone calls with each other. We were just in there briefing him on these numbers earlier in the week, and he picked up the phone and called you. And, Some and so this, this of is, yeah, the absolutely. associates of both of these men have told us that there are periods when they talk every single day. And we've also learned that at times Donald Trump will phone Lou Dobbs in the middle of a meeting and place Lou Dobbs on the speakerphone. I'm so proud that I have been able to convince people how fake it is because it has taken a yeah. nosedive. Yeah. Except for your show, of course, and Sean and a few of them, right? Uh, Trump's love of Fox and many of the Fox personalities is, is well known. I want to be treated good. I just want to be treated fairly. What no. seems to be different about the Lou Dobbs, Donald Trump relationship, according to people who we've spoken to, including Steve Bannon, who worked in both the campaign and in the White House, is that this seems to be a relationship based less on the personal and more on policy. President Trump has done more than any president in modern history. We're seeing a completely new paradigm, a new kind of relationship between a person on television and a person who is president but also happened to be a reality television star. And uh, appreciate everything you're doing. Thanks so much. We're getting it done. 
I will promise you we're getting it done. And it's happened a lot has already happened.